The killer clowns have said it in a number of different occasions out there that they are getting irate, livid, frustrated, angry, that they are uh, reading comments from a number of different individuals out there stating that the killer clown purge that will be happening on October 31st will indeed be fake. Now, the killer clowns did release all their frustrations as of late. However, the leader of this killer clown movement, Boo Boo the Clown, requested for another exclusive interview to talk more in depth about how the killer clown purge is not fake. We're going to go ahead and take you to the interview right now. Boo Boo the Clown, welcome. Um, this is very, very strange because normally I'm the one requesting the interviews. However, now tonight it's actually you that requested the interview. What exactly is going on? Let me tell you what is going on. The reason why I requested this interview is because I am sick and tired. For all the people who think this is fake and think we're not going to do nothing. Because we are coming and we are real. You're referring to, of course, October 31st of 2022, where you and all your killer clowns are expected to rise up and knock down this entire globe. It's funny you mention that because I've been roaming around on YouTube and other platforms out there, and there is so many people out there who are saying the same thing. There's a lot of people saying that you guys are not true, that you guys are, quote, fake, that this entire thing is a facade. But you yourself are confident that this is not fake. Of course we're not fake. We are very much real. And the Halloween Clown Purge is going to happen. Let me go ahead and put it this way. Perhaps a lot of people out there are believing that this is fake because... You guys did say that in 2016 you guys were going to rise up to deliver the purge, but nothing really happened. And... 2020, of course, one of the years, 2021, and now it's 2022, and it's almost the whole story of the little boy who cried a wolf. You know, you're saying this and that, and the more you say it, the more you lose credibility. Would you agree with that statement how what you guys are saying isn't as credible anymore, isn't as truthful, or would you disagree? Are you comparing me? To a fictional story. Just for an example. Never, ever, ever do that again. I do apologize. I have to ask. I don't want your apologies. Your apologies mean shit. You know, there's a lot of people who watch this interview and have watched many of the videos in the past couple of weeks and really in the past month and there's a lot of them out there that despite the fact that there's a few, a select few that believe that it's fake, there's also a bunch of others that believe that this is true and there's a lot out there that are scared. Do you and your killer clowns, do you guys show any remorse to the people who won't fight back? Do you guys show them remorse? The ones who are innocent and don't want anything to do with the killer clowns? We do not show remorse for anyone. We don't care about anyone. I mean, you know we are real. And we're getting closer to the 31st of October. There's just been so many people claiming that they're seeing sightings left and right. There's so many people saying that they're being stalked by clowns. And there's a lot of people out there saying that these clowns are indeed getting to the point where it's becoming a lot more serious. Now let's talk about the people who are willing to rise up themselves as well. You guys on your end are looking to rise up on the 31st of October. On our end, however, there's a lot of people, the humans, the humans, as you put it, are looking to rise up and deliver their own purge. And they're going to knock down the killer clowns in the streets and any other place that the killer clowns are stationed at. What's your message to the people out there threatening to knock you guys down? You moron! Are you trying to say that you guys are gonna take us out? Is that what you're telling me right now? Not personally me, but there are people out there who are you saying- You humans. Yes, you the humans. humans. Yes. And I know that you are gonna help to try to take us down. I'm not going to be involved because I'm just only a reporter, a journalist. I have to ask the questions, and I have to ask the questions for the sake of the story. But I will not be involved in the story, and I will not be involved on, in the Killer Clown Purge. Let me interrupt you. What on earth do you mean story? This 
this is not a story. This is real life. This is really happening. Well, it may be real, but it seems like a story. I mean, you guys were disrespected. You guys were ridiculed and tormented for decades. Hence the reason why you guys decided to rise shit. up. Who gives a shit? You know, it's funny that you mention how everyone else is humans. But deep down inside, behind that mask of yours, you're a human as well. You have a beating heart. That makes you a human. It's not like you're some form of alien that is from outer space, completely different from any other person out there. Deep down inside, you are a human as well. How do you respond to that? I mean, do you feel any different? We are no humans. We are clowns. And don't you call me an alien. Do I sound or look like an alien? I would say you look and sound worse than an alien. I mean, you are looking at exactly. to... I am worse than what an alien can do. Yeah, you have bad intentions in your mind. You're looking to knock down this entire globe. I mean, we're a couple of weeks away from the 31st of October. You still have a chance to call this off. You still have a chance to finally cancel this entire purge. You know, it's very, very funny. You've told me this, oh, uh, let's see, many, many times to call off the purge, to call off my clowns. Well, well, let me tell you something, okay? Okay. I, and this is a promise, I will not ever, ever call off the purge or Call off my clowns, you coward. Can I ask you a final question? I understand that you seem to be livid and irate. Um, but this is not going to be an easy cakewalk. This is not going to be a walk in the park. This is not going to be no, easy. What do you mean by that? You what tell I'm, me what you mean by that. What I'm saying is that this entire purge may not go your way. Perhaps in your mind, in theory, it may very well be easy. But in reality, you have to combat all the strengths and power and capabilities and guns and weapons and all the different vehicles that the military and policemen and women have. Are you not putting that into account? Listen to me, you big gorilla. Because right now you look and sound like a gorilla. I don't care about the military. I don't care about their tanks, their weaponry. I don't care on earth what the hell they have. It is not my concern of what they have. It should be their concern of what we have. And it should be yours guys' concerns of what we have and what we could do with it. And what we will do with it. That's the thing. You should know that by now, don't you? Well, I do. But I also know that the policemen and women in the military are also as strong, if not stronger. And if that's the case, why am I still here then? And despite the fact that I said I wanted to ask the final question, I actually want to ask you one more. The police are looking for you. They have the wanted lists all over. They have the wanted list that has you. You're a target. They have the proverbial bullseye on your head. Aren't you afraid? Well, guess what? Guess what? what? Yes. I don't give a flying shit. Dude, don't you know that? Right now, I don't care about you or your little cop friends that you got stored behind you. Because... You're scared like a little girl. You can't fight your own battles. Can you, Mr. Adrian Matt? I'd rather not want to get involved. But with oh, that oh, being... you are. You are talking to us. As a journalist, and... I think You're we can wrap... you involved, are you not? Just only to report on the stories, and just to only inform the audience of what's going on. But we can wrap Stupid the interview... Gun. Well, we can wrap the interview right now, and I do thank you for joining me here today. Is there anything else you'd like to share in this interview? Yes, actually, there would be, if you don't mind. 
without rudely interrupting me. I want everyone. Doesn't matter if they think we're real or fake. This goes to everyone. And I mean everyone. That. Be prepared. We are already October 15th. Halloween. Is in 16 more days. That's gonna come fast. And when that day comes. Prepare to see. The Midnight Killers. Because we. Are gonna take this world upon our hands. We are gonna wipe out. Humankind. This world. By the time we're done with it. It will be only living. And walking clowns on it. Not one speck of human left on it. That's how it's gonna be. You kinda get my gist, stupid man. Unfortunately, I do. And I guess we will find out what will transpire on October 31st, 2022.